Sister Sledge is an American singing group originating from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Starting in 1971, the group was composed of sisters Debbie, Kim, Joni, and Kathy. Before becoming a group, their grandmother, an opera singer, gave Kim and Kathy singing lessons. They started performing at charity events and they were discovered opening up for Marvin Gaye. They released several singles but by 1975 released their very first album. During the 1970s, disco was one of the hottest trends. It became a movement thanks to artists such as the Bee Gees and Donna Summer. To capitalize on their, their record company, Atlantic Records, hired top producers, Nile Rodgers, Bernard Edwards to work with the sisters. The producers came up with an idea for a song called We Are Family. The song was put together with Kathy singing lead vocals and Kim, Jody, and Luther Vandross singing backgrounds. The song was released in 1979 and was a smash hit. The song went gold, reaching number one on the R&B charts and number two on the pop charts. Shortly afterwards, they released He's the Greatest Dancer, which also became a pop hit. Overall, the album went certified platinum and established the sisters as a disco icons. They also released the song He's the Greatest Dancer, which also became a big hit. Overall, the album itself was certified platinum and established the sisters as disco icons. Afterwards, they followed up with another album called Love Someone Today, working again with Nile Rodgers and Bernard Edwards, which met with some success, mostly overseas. Afterwards, they would spend the next three years going on a worldwide tour. For the rest of the decade, they would release several more albums with some fanfare. In 1989, Kathy, who usually sang lead and was the face of the group, went to her sisters and expressed her interest in going solo. It seemed like the sisters anticipated this and were not keen to the idea. According to Kathy, they said, if you do it, you got to leave. One of the challenges I had with my own sisters was it got to a place where they told me I couldn't be lead singer anymore, even though that's how people liked it. Kathy went on to pursue a solo career. This will be the catalyst for a feud and brawl between the sisters that will last more than 30 years. From 2010 to 2017, the group went through some horrific challenges that would change the scope of the group. Starting in 2010, Kim Sledge became sick and nearly lost her life. She got infected with the H1N1 virus, which is a serious version of the flu. She had to be put into intensive care. She developed pneumonia. To make matters worse, while getting treatment in intensive care, she got a fungal infection, also referred to as Valley Fever. To everyone's surprise, after some time, she decided to go against doctor's orders and stop taking the medication that was prescribed for her. Johnny explained, they were expecting me to take these very severe medications and I just knew it wasn't going to heal me. I was told to take the medication for a year. I took it for a couple of months. I said, I can't continue to take this because I know the Lord is healing me. I didn't want to put this in my body. She said the doctors laughed at first until she went to her third appointment and she had apparently started to look better. 
After reading scriptures in thoughtful prayer with her sisters, she made a full recovery. After recuperating, she eventually joined her other two sisters again, performing with Sister Sledge. In 2012, the sisters filed a lawsuit against Warner Brothers Records over digital royalties. This topic has become a major issue among artists over the past 10 years since streaming started. It seems like the record label is paying more so off of sales of songs rather than the licensing fees. Also, record companies like Warner Brothers like to charge a percentage for an artist as a reserve fee, which is usually used to cover unsold inventory. However, the sisters are disputing that issue since digital downloads have no inventory. What makes this issue difficult with the sisters along with other artists from the 70s and 80s is that they signed their recording contracts before digital downloads were available and were pertinent in music. However, this issue was a small setback compared to what was coming next. In 2013, the group members would go through a major challenge when they decided to sue Kathy over the usage of the name Sister Sledge. The amount was for $200,000. It appears after Kathy's solo career had dwindled down, she was performing under the name Sister Sledge, featuring Kathy Sledge, and was going to use that for an Australian tour. However, by this time, the other three sisters had started an LLC and brought the trademark to the name Sister Sledge. Understandably, they knew it would cause confusion, so it appears they had to take matters into their own hands to get Kathy to stop using the name. The lawsuit alleged Sister Sledge former member Kathy Sledge had misused the group's trademark name as a means to enhance her solo career. They went so far as to say Kathy was acting as an imposter. Incorporating the group's name into her billing causes confusion with the general public, and they have no control over the validity of her, the performance being done under their name, which could lead to harming their legacy and lowering the group's value. When the dust finally settled, Kathy agreed to the sisters' demands to stop using the name Sister Sledge for her future performances. Initially, the bitterness between the sisters was kept quiet, at least to the public. Only artists who worked with them knew about their major conflict. However, the issue became public when Billboard magazine and TMZ reported an issue in their hometown of Pennsylvania that was about to happen. In 2015, Philadelphia was hosting the World Meeting of Families where a group of singers were invited to perform for the Pope. It was advertised that Sister Sledge would be performing in their hometown with all four original members. However, the day of the performance, the three sisters, Joni, Debbie, and Kim, would not allow Kathy to perform with them. Kathy responded by going public with their issues and telling the media that although it was advertised that all four original members would be performing, in actuality, she would not be up on stage with them. Billboard reported, although the performance is being promoted as though all four original members of the group are in concert, sisters Joni, Debbie, and Kim have refused to allow the younger sibling, Kathleen, original member and iconic voice of Sister Sledge to participate in the performance. At the concert, the three sisters Debbie, Kim, and Tony still performed for the Pope, with Kim singing lead for We Are Family. In 2017, the sisters experienced the worst tragedy. In March of that year, a friend went to go visit Joni Sledge in her home. When they got there, they found her deceased body. There were no issues of foul play, and she wasn't apparently sick. 
upon doing an autopsy, they found that she had died from natural causes. What people found surprising was she was seen in the studio apparently okay just a few days beforehand. She left behind a child and an ex-husband. She was given a funeral in Phoenix, Arizona, where she was living before her body was finally brought back to her hometown of Pennsylvania to be buried with the rest of her deceased family members. Despite the deaths, challenges, and time that has gone by, it appears the issues between Kathy and the remaining sisters, Debbie and Kim, haven't changed. Kathy continues to work on side projects and performs under the moniker of the Kathy Sledge Experience. Kim and Debbie still perform under the name Sister Sledge and have replaced Kathy and Joni with their own children. In 2019, Kathy did an interview and asked about the relationship with her sister. She responded, We are all talking, but Debbie is suing me right now. When asked if she would like to perform with them again, she said, Yes, I would love it. <laughs>